collecting solar heat is the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the domestic hot water heat transfer process. My first solar hot water shower took place on the side of an Adirondack mountain. The shower was made from a 300 foot coil of black polyethylene tube spread out on Jack Carter's south facing roof. The water came from a spring fed well about 200 feet away. Water entered the poly at 55 degrees Fahrenheit and if you stood under the shower between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. water temperature of about 95 degrees might be experienced for a brief period of time if there were no clouds to interfere with the process. The intermittent nature of sunlight is an inconvenient truth, but this is the kind of inconvenience we can deal with and we can ultimately save money, time, and work in the process. Solar collectors do a better job of collecting heat than a coil of plastic tubing thrown haphazardly on a roof. But we'll save solar collector construction for another day. Today we want to build a simple 60 gallon heat storage heat transfer system for less than $60. We'll use a carry barrel to store the solar heated water. Carry barrels are made with a tough polyethylene material layered with reinforced fibers. The round rib design makes an ideal hot water container and a 100 foot long polyethylene tube installs easily inside the wide rim. This 100 foot long polyethylene tube has a heat exchange surface area of about 25 square feet. However, some of the heat exchange surface is blocked where the tube presses against the side of the barrel. To increase the heat exchange surface area, spacers may be added that recess the tube from the sides of the barrel and allow more water to flow around the tube. A spacer recessing fixture may be made with an additional $10 worth of PVC parts consisting of four 20 inch long PVC pipes, 4 10 inch long PVC pipes, 4 elbows, and 1 cross. The assembly does not require PVC cement and the spacer extensions may be pushed in after the cross supports are in the barrel. Before the polyethylene tube is stuffed inside the barrel, a 1 and 1 quarter inch hole is drilled near the bottom of the barrel. The hole is for the cold water return of the drain back system. Of course, a waterproof spigot must be installed inside the hole to make this possible. So let's first take a look at the spigot fabrication. The waterproof seal of the spigot is made from a 7 a sense heater hose with an outside diameter of 1 and 1 quarter inches. A polyethylene tube is pressed into the heater hose to increase the outside diameter of the hose and make a watertight seal. Next, an adapter is added to facilitate the pump connection. We could push the spigot into the spigot hole first, but if we do this, the protruding spigot inside the barrel will make the 100 foot long tube insertion more difficult. A PEX tube may be used instead of a polyethylene tube, but the heat exchange rate of PEX will be less than polyethylene, and PEX is also more expensive than polyethylene. Water pressure on the spigot is very low, but water pressure inside the heat exchange tube is very high. For this reason, the heat exchange tube junctions should be carefully prepared to avoid plumbing leaks. Solar heated tap water straight from the carry barrel may not always be sufficiently heated, but the preheated water that it produces will always save oil and pay for itself in less than one season. I hope this information about the carry barrel solar heat exchange system is of some value. For more information about this and other DIY projects, Google JC Solar. As you know, do-it-yourself applications are now affordable. 
and they'll soon be an essential part of our lives. Get started today on your path to a greener future and visit me on jcsolarhomes.com. Folks call me Maverick. Yes, I ain't too diplomatic. I just never been the kind to go along. Just avoiding confrontation for the sake of confirmation. And I'll admit I tend to sing a different song. Sometimes you just can't be afraid to wear a different hat. Hit Columbus at the plot and this old world might still be flat. Nothing adventure, nothing gain. Sometimes you got to go against the grain. Well, I've been a Making my own rules. There must be rebel blood just running through my veins. But I ain't no hypocrite. Cause what you see is what you get. And that's the only way I know to play the game. Oh no, it took much ridicule for building this great ark. But after 40 days and 40 nights, he was looking pretty smart. Sometimes it's best to brave the wind and the rain. By having the strength to go against the grave. Share my point of view But they're worried if they're gonna sink or swim They'd like to buck the system But the deck is stacked against them And they're a little scared to go out on a limb But if you're gonna make a difference If you're gonna leave your mark You can't follow like a bunch of sheep You gotta listen to your heart Go busting in like old John Wayne Sometimes you've got to go against the grain Nothing venture, nothing gain. Sometimes you got. 